In this video, we're gonna go over the top performing soft plastics for jigging walleye in the Detroit River. How is everybody doing? Justin here. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over the most popular choices for soft plastics on your jig heads for jigging walleye in the Detroit River. And a lot of this also is gonna hold true for you guys that are jigging the St. Clair River. If you're new to the channel, just to kind of let you know what I like to do here on the channel is I like to give you tips, fishing reports, product reviews, and just take you out fishing and the things I do in the outdoors throughout Michigan and out here on Lake St. Clair and the other bodies of water here in Southeast Michigan. So if you're new here, click down below, hit that red subscribe button, ding that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video, but you didn't come here to talk, to hear me talk about the channel. You came here to hear me talk about Detroit River walleye jigging. So let's get right into it. Now, when you're jigging Detroit River, you can use a lot of different soft plastics on those jig heads. You can use light bait, but there are essentially three categories that everybody uses here on the Detroit River. The first one is going to be your worm. Um, that's going to include like your drop shot style worms, your wind out worms, and so on. I'll get more into the top ones of those later in the video. The next are your minnow, your shiner shaped plastics. And after that, it's going to be your paddle tails or your boot boot style uh, swim base with the smaller ones. Um, so what I want to do in this video is I want to break down each category of lures and give you like say the top four or five uh, soft plastics in those categories that guys use out here on the Detroit River. First up we are going to talk about worms. Now I am not giving you this list in some particular order of most productive everybody has their favorite and that's going to hold true throughout this entire video i'm not going to rank them but what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you a list of five worms now the first up that i want to talk about is hands down the og in this category it is the wine dot worm the wine dot worm is actually a drop shot worm originally um but was taken i believe down to the wine dot boat ramp and that's where it kind of got its name i might be wrong slightly on the history but Either way, just a simple four inch drop shot worm there. Uh, another one that is on the list uh, for me is my one of my favorites is the Angler's Choice Spear Tail. As you can see, again, it kind of follows that same suit of a straight worm with a little bit of a tail on the end. Um, the Angler Choice Worm's a really soft plastic, but it's also got a lot of mass to it, a lot of, lot of, a lot of thickness to it, so it does have a really nice side profile. Uh, the next one up on my list is going to be the Lunker City Ribster. Now the, now, the Lunker City Ribster is a hybrid between a rib worm and a standard worm and a drop shop worm all tied together. It has a lot of action to it. That tail kicks around a lot, but also causes it to get tangled up occasionally onto your stinger hook. So keep that in mind as well. The next one up on my list is the Maniac Custom Lures Paddle Tail. Uh, they're based out west, but a lot of guys have gravitated towards these. They're just a really simple, straight, um, like a drop shot or, or, or a finesse shaky head worm. Um, really good quality plastic. Pretty affordable. Hold up well. Come in a lot of good colors. Uh, there's custom colors at some of the shops locally. Uh, that They have some custom ones made by them. So there's a lot of variety out there in the Maniacs. The next one up is probably the newest player on the market. But is not. But this guy is not a stranger to the Detroit River. He actually guides on the river. Uh, he's fished the Bassmaster Elite Circuit. He's one of the one of the best musky captains in the area as well. And if you haven't figured out who I'm talking about yet, it's Bondi. Uh, Bondi Bait Company. Uh, from John Bondi. He has a bunch of cool little small baits, um, but he has one that fits in this category really, really well. And that's the Bondi worm. It's about a three and a half, three and a quarter inch worm. Very, very durable bait. It's made out of the same material that he makes a lot of his musky baits out of. So you know it's going to be very, very tough. 
In the next category, we're going to talk about the minnow bodies. Um, there can be an absolute ton of honorable mentions in this category, but essentially there are four lures that are used the most by everybody that's fishing the minnow-shaped bodies. Uh, first up and foremost is going to be the Lunker City Finesse Fish. Uh, it's a fluke style bait, uh, but comes in a lot of colors. I think there's well over 100 colors there uh, offered by Lunker City. I think there's six new colors this year. Um, it's a it's a softer saltwater plastic, um, but it's a real it's a fairly durable bait, fairly inexpensive. Um, probably has been the dominant one for the longest time, but this next one on the list is definitely starting to get a huge following here on the Detroit River and also on the St. Clair River. And it's also my personal favorite, and that's the Angler's Choice Walleye Minner. Now, if you want to hear about this bait in greater detail, I'll post a link up above here. You can watch the video where I'm kind of comparing it to some of the more popular plastics. You can see one of the attributes, and I explained the attributes why I really like the walleye minner in that video. But if you haven't tried it, check this bait out. You can get it on both sides of the river. Um, I know Sportsman's Direct carries it um, on this side for sure. I think there's a couple other shops in the process of getting them on this side, um, but you can go to Wallaceburg and pick it up there. And also I believe there's a shop down on this Windsor side, uh, the Detroit River that also carries it. Uh, next up is going to be from Berkeley, the Gulp Minnows. Uh, the Gulp Minnows have been around forever. There's not a ton of colors in there, um, but I'm gonna kinda lump the Gulp Minnow, the Power Bait Twitch Tail, you know, all these minnow shapes from them into one kind of category. Um, that way you get a good variety of colors. Um, I know back when I was doing a lot of outdoor writing, uh, I wrote up an article uh, on, I believe it was a 14-pound, 13-ounce walleye that was caught on a Berkeley Galt minnow. And if I can find that picture, you're going to see it up there. Um, but that's a really, really good one as well. Uh, another one that's on the list that's also fairly new to a lot of guys is the Bondi minnow. Again, made out of the same tough material that he makes a lot of his musky baits out of. Um, really, really good bait, um, durable, good side profile, and he has a lot of really good colors in it and seems to be adding colors every year to it with his own twist to a lot of the staples. So that's it for the minnows. The third category of baits that guys are using here on the Detroit River now is the paddle tail. Uh, the paddle tail, the boot tail, the swim bait, whatever you want to call it. Essentially, it's about a three and a half to four inch little skinny swim bait. Um, there's five or six baits out there that guys use a lot of. I'm going to give you the five most popular that I know of. I might be wrong. If you have other ones that you use, let me know down, down, let me know down in the comments uh, what you have for favorite paddle tails. Uh, First and foremost, is probably one of the oldest ones on the market, but also probably the least talked about out of all of these. And these are very popular on the lower part of the Detroit River. Uh, that is the Walleye Assassin Turbo Shad. Um, Walleye Assassin makes good quality plastics. They don't do a lot of frills and scents. It's just it's a, it's a hunk of plastic with a nice tail, fairly durable at a fairly reasonable price. Next up, you gotta bring in the Bondi Fry. The Bondi Fry is, again, made out of that super tough material that he makes all of his musky baits out of, but the skinniness of the tail does have some nice kick to it, and guys really do enjoy it. Um, it has a little bit smaller height profile than his minnow, um, but with that tail, it has a really good thump and good, good, good slow fall rate um, when you're trying to fine tune that a bit. Another one that is a sleeper, I don't want to let everybody know, and this one's from Angler's Choice. Um, it's actually their three and a half inch sniper shad. It fishes really well on a jig head, vertical jigging. Um, I know in the St. Clair River, a lot of the, there's some Canadian guys that fish this a lot, um, but not so much on the U.S. side. Um, but that's mainly because. Uh, Angler's Choice is a Canadian brand, and not a lot of people have been exposed to it here on the U.S. side, but is a very, very good bait to check out. The last two on this list are both from Lunker City. 
First up is the shaker. Uh, the shaker, generally guys are going to be fishing in a three and a quarter inch uh, length. Shaker comes in a lot of colors. Again, it's made out of the same material that the finesse fish is made out of. And the other one is the swim fish. The swim fish will give you a paddle tail with a very similar body shape and profile to what the finesse fish is. Um, they're starting to add a lot of the finesse colors to both of those lineups, um, but they do have all of the staples, all the popular colors in those two lineups. So I hope this list might help you try um, and explore some new lures this year when you're out jigging the Detroit River. There's a lot of good op or opportunity out there for you to try a lot of different baits and have a lot of success, especially with the walleye numbers we have right now. You might just find that new hidden gem. So let me know down in the comments um, of any lure that you might use that's not on this list. Let everybody know about it. Maybe that's the hidden secret weapon that we all have been looking for. And as always, guys, I'd like to thank you for tuning into the channel. Be sure to click the red subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And as always, guys, tight lines, happy casting, and we'll see you on the next video. If you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you, you'll never, ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you.